Hey folks, welcome back to Endless Ocean, Blue World. Going into the sun. So, last time, what did we do last time? Uh -huh. We did something last time. Something with Nancy. I think we did something with Nancy. Regardless, we're, we're going to do something now. Oh, we talked about how Oceani is kind of a socially broken child. No, she's just, she's just a kid. I'm just letting you know. Alone. I'm just letting you know what we talked about. No, we didn't. We didn't talk about that. I would never say. I remember now. We got the science fins. But if, after we wrestled, you know, Thanatos for that lady, so she could go find the sheet music, so we could go play the guitar. We didn't really wrestle Thanatos. Figuratively. I think you're blocking certain things out and substituting them with things to make yourself cooler. Yes, semicolon. Let's move on. So, uh, one thing that we did have on the tasks for us to do is that we saw that island in the water. You move an island. A dog barked at it. It was very mysterious. Dogs bark at lots of things. Yeah, well, Snorkel especially was barking at that. So, we probably should check it out. Bah! Eh! Willy nilly. Unlike the moving islands, them I trust in completely. Uh, how do you feel about this, Professor Sakurai? All business. That's our Professor Sakurai. There is science afoot, and she is going to find it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got our own little science here to do moving island science. The best kind of science. Well, not really. The best kind of science is, in fact, space science. Are you, but are you sure that that's there. science? Are you sure it's not not science? Look, we're going to apply the scientific method to it. We are going to see if it exists. We are going to give it its own scientific due. Right here. Right now. Okay. We're going to find that island. We're going to find where the gold is. There's no, there's no gold. Look, look, there might be. We don't know. Now you're just making up things about gold. No, I, I never make up anything about gold. We don't, literally don't know. We don't know what to deal with this with the island. There could be, it could be full of coins. It could be full of Pacifica relics. You're thinking of the Mushroom Kingdom. The, the, the Okanides. The Okanides could have left... Tablets made of lapis lazuli and gold on the island. I don't know. We'll find out. But I That's what we do. Only some of that is what we do. That is marginally what we do. We loot things and dive. It's a pretty substantial margin, in fact. All right. So, wh where did John Eric say he saw it by? Ah, uh, cake. Is it by Cake Rock? Then uh, where was I was just thinking about rock? cake. Oh well, we'll we'll just go around and see if we find anything. If it's if it's an island, I'm sure we will find it. Islands aren't exactly the most stealthy of things, though. Apparently, this one is the most stealthy island of all. So we'll see. Ah, maybe we'll find Amelia Earnhardt's corpse on it. No. Coconut crab salt of that. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'd say God bless you, coconut crabs, but <laughs> no, not there. God bless the coconut crabs. I, I, I like coconut crabs, but... And they are just doing what comes naturally to them there, but... uh. Noble members from Birgis Latro. I, I suppose we should probably explain what we're talking about there to people. No, let them figure so, it out. <laughs> no, no, facts. We are the fact, folks. We gotta share facts. For those who aren't familiar with Amelia Earnhardt, she was a lady. She attempted to fly around the world. She disappeared. She was quite famous for it. Nobody knows what happened. It was somewhere over the Pacific. We're pretty sure she crashed and got eaten by coconut crabs now. We found 
parts of probably her plane buried into the dirt. And the reason why we couldn't find her bones? Coconut crabs. Those polyps. <sighs> Some good-looking polyps. You will never say those words again. <laughs> Look at the polyps in that one. Core, eh? The Core. heartbreak of polyps. <laughs> Giant clam. Hey. Which we won't be allowed to let a look at. Hey, these guys. Takifugu Lubiprez. We've seen these guys before. Yes. Alkabat's freaked out about these things before. Yeah. Ah, good times. So, as, as you guys may recall, very toxic. Very toxic. Ah. Japan loves to eat them, but very toxic. One bite of the wrong part of that, and oh baby, will you die. Oh, hey. Anemone fish. That sea anemone, too. For some reason. <laughs> Finding Nemo. Kind of ironic, really, when you think about it. So, a major plot point of that was taking fish from the ocean are bad, and now people are taking them from the ocean. I, I know, it's so dumb. It's like, ah, yes, we're, we're going to take the message here and say, oh, they're so cute. What's this bone in our tank? Wait a minute, just what like you're saying is I can go to the ocean and get my own Nemo? <laughs> For free? Aw, <laughs> oh, man. I mean, just like that dentist's office, that was like a thing of amazement there. Ah. Coin. Yep. Canis Minor, the lesser dogs, one of the original 48 Ptolemaic constellations. Though more commonly said to be one of Orion's hunting dogs, it is also said to represent the Tumesian fox, a giant fox that could never be captured. When hunted by the dog Lalaps, who always got its quarry, Zeus, rather than dealing with this paradox, petrified them and threw them both into deep space. Zeus is kind of a cool guy. Oh, dogs. Yeah. Star dogs. Star fox. You shut your fucking mouth, General Pepper. Yeah. yeah, those are just blowfish. same clam or uh, just a similar clam. I think it was. I think you just turned around. I don't think so because I'm pretty sure I'm heading north now. I was facing south before. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's look at this thing. Technically, you're headed north, north, east. Why I oughta? Come on, come on. The compass is facing away from that shrimp. Uh, I'm gonna have to release the secret mode of diving. Creeping the forward and power. looking down the hole. Yes. Unleash my true power. Perspective. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, we can change perspective. I never had any reason to do it until now. Just really had a look at that shrimp, huh? Yeah. That, that Randall's pistol shrimp. Pretty cool with those guys. They're okay. Yeah. So, yeah, pistol shrimp. Poor vision. But it can, you know... Make a hole. So the Gobi has good vision. Hey, they it's hang a out. Gobi. They're friends. It's me. I'm the one watching that Watchman Gobi. <laughs> then he disappears like a ninja. Up. Yep. I just love the pistol shrimp just slowly inching its way forward, like a. Hey. So Chaopia. that Gobi has two different colors, and it doesn't matter which one you find. It counts for both of their entries. The Marine Encyclopedia. Congratulations. Awesome. That's like we found five fish at once. Ah. We're making good time here. You deserve a drink. You're underwater. Hi. And yet another sea anemone. Which is a good chance for me to talk about sea anemones. Talk about them. Four. Order you. The sea anemone is a predatory marine animal of the order Actinaria. Named after the anemone, a terrestrial flower, sea anemones belong to the phylum Nidaria, like its distant cousin the jellyfish, and its much closer relative, the corals. The sea anemone in its most commonly known form, its adult stage, and the most common one you'll see when diving, is a polyp, a cylindrical body attached by an adhesive foot to surfaces. Sea anemone polyps vary in size from a tiny, whiny little 4 millimeters in size to a relatively massive 2 meters, and they can have anywhere from a few dozen to a few hundred singing tentacles. 
Nadarians typically go through a multi-stage life cycle. As I've discussed before, with the jellyfish, a free-floating medusa releases ova and sperm into the water, which fertilize and grow into larval jellyfish, which ultimately attach itself to its surface as a polyp. This polyp will feed over time using its stinging tentacles, before performing fission and splitting to segments of its body, forming new free-floating medusa. The sea anemone, however, never enters the medusa phase. The polyp itself produces eggs and sperm, which ultimately form new polyps. Polyps typically stay in the same place nigh indefinitely once attached, but they are capable of releasing themselves and moving their body to swim to a new location. In fact, there are a few free-floating sea anemone polyps that eschew attachment altogether in the favor of gas pockets. The sea anemone probably is most famous for its many stinging nematocysts, which, when triggered, launch a harpoon-like structure that launches into the triggering organism and injects venom into it. These toxins paralyze its prey, allowing them to move it to their centrally located mouth for digestion. And what kind of prey does the sea anemone feed on? Well, anything that's really small enough that they can capture and eat. Fish and crustaceans, typically. But the sea anemone doesn't feed on all fish and crustaceans, mind you. In fact, the sea anemone is rather famous as a prime example of the kinds of complex symbiotic relationships that can be developed in the wild by very different complex animals, thanks to evolution. Anemone fish, ugh, ugh. anemone fish, also known as clownfish, are fish of the family Pomacendridae, also containing those damselfish jerks. With vibrant yellowish and orangish coloration and vertical white stripes, they're quite distinct and visually interesting. But they're also engaged in symbiotic mutualism with sea anemones. See, not all marine animals are vulnerable to the sea anemone. A number of fish, sea slugs, and starfish have developed immunity to its nematocyst and will feed on their tentacles or the sea anemone entirely. The mostly stationary sea anemone has little it can do against this kind of attacker, making it extremely vulnerable beyond engaging in the old evolutionary toxin arms race. But through the anemone fish, the sea anemone has another ace in its tentacles. The anemone fish is also immune to the sea anemone's toxins, and in fact will dwell within its tentacles for protection. In exchange for this protection, along with scraps that it may have left over, the anemone fish in turn protects the sea anemone from predators, as well as from parasites. Not only that though, but the anemone fish actually excrete nitrogen, which helps support another symbiotic relationship the anemone tenders, that with single-celled green algae. Many sea anemone incorporate such algae into their gastrodermal cells. The sea anemone gets oxygen as well as food through the algae's photosynthesis, while the algae in turn are protected from microfeeders and receive relatively reliable exposure to sunlight. Everybody wins! But wait, there is more! The anemone has another rather famous symbiotic relationship that it finds itself wrapped into. Crabs. See, a variety of crabs have developed a rather unusual symbiosis with sea anemones. They wear them. Quite a few her species of hermit crabs will, if they find a suitable polyp, attach them to their shell as a protective anemone guardian. These hermit crabs will attach between one and several such anemones to their shell for protection, which then expand to cover its surface. And often a young hermit crab will attach a similarly very young anemone to its shell, and as they both grow, it will transfer the anemone to its new home with it when it changes shells, forming a lifelong relationship with it. What do they both get out of this relationship? Well, obviously the crab gets protection from a number of fish which would rather not eat something covered in stinging death. The sea anemone, on the other hand, gets, well, food scraps, the crab will give it some sides, and it gets its own protection, of course, from the crab. There are some fish that will mess with the sea anemone, they don't want to mess with the crab, and it also gets some mobility. Crabs get around. That sea anemone doesn't have to worry about a slow-ass starfish creeping up and getting onto it. No, sir. There's another fascinating crab in it, and... Blah, 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 blah. Enemies are very hard to say. There's another fascinating crab sea anemone symbiosis in that of the crab genus Libya, also known as the boxer or pom-pom crabs. They hold sea anemones in their claws. It is awesome.
yes. See you in a minute. Very cool. Very hard to say. Really quickly. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. Ah. That's sea anemones. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. I try. The crab grid was especially hard. Crab matrix. <laughs> it was. Yeah. But let's let's, let's move on. Self-entangled. For fish. For islands. Good old dusky bat fish. Huh. You're just going to keep seeing those, and every time you do it, it's just disappointment. Have you noticed that? Hmm. I don't think we've been over here before. It's a big thing. Gold old bowmouth tarfish. Are they really that big? They're Yeah, they're big fish. They get huge. That that's, that's huge, though. They get that's pretty big. big. Well, speaking of big... <laughs> really big. You seem bigger. He's pretty big. Good old Kong. Not as big as the moon. Yeah, but... Oh, man, he's the mayor. He's Sir Mayor. I raise you the moon. Ah, and a coin. Woo. Coin then. Get out of here, Demzel. Triangle is Latin for triangle. It represents a triangle. A triangle is a polygon with three sides. An early name for the constellation was Sicilia, because Ceres, the patron goddess of Sicily, supposedly begged Jupiter to chuck that fucker into the sky. Go figure. Geometric shapes. How lazy. I do love Sicily, though. Well, well, you would. Now in space form, apparently. Yeah. Let's go to well, Astro I love Sicily. Whale shark. <laughs> oh, I love that its gills are animated. Yes. We actually had How one of these cool off of Florida recently. Ah. I'm not sure what we're holding on to here. His, his face. His mayoral sash. It's invisible. <laughs> yes. Only those of pure heart can see it. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'm... Does pure evil count? I mean, if you look, he's got that cloaking device on him. That's what those ripples going down his oh, body are. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, he is a mayor and a knight, so makes sense. Thank you, Sir Fish. Uh, God bless he took you mayor. really southeast there, didn't he? Eh, a little bit. Which is not really where we were going, but eh, we'll poke around for here. You don't know where we're going. I, I got ideas, I've got notions. I presume they're near Cake Rock, wherever that may be, but... Oh, hey. Look what the Bannerfish ride in. Columba, the Dove, was created in 1592 by Petrus Plancius. Plancius named the constellation after the Dove from the story of Noah and the Great Flood. Yep. I'm not detecting this. Well, no, because that's that's there. That's not treasure. <laughs> but, but it's there. I clearly I can. That detect was purposely it. put be... there. It's pointing to something. Is it? That's the clue to solve a murder. Oh. Well, I'm sure the mayor is on to it. Booby. Oh, I love boobies. And boobies. Shut up, Zorak. Really, you can't lose by that pun. Shut up, Zorak. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love the boobies of all kinds. SHUT UP, ZORAK! <laughs> what if I say I love little penguins? ZORAK! Okay? Is, that, is that okay? STOP SAYING YOU LIKE THINGS! <laughs> but, but I do, I'm so full of love for the world. Ah. <sighs> You lied to me, Demazel. Hey. Jump. Jump, jump, jump. So, uh, chub mackerel can eat the parasite and Nisakis. If you eat it uncooked, it can cause stomach aches and nausea, so. 
the parasite it's not good so make sure you cook it well or if it's been frozen for a while you know that, that works too weird thing about that parasite is the larvae infect fish but the adults infect dolphins and whales huh those weird ones yeah well that happens parasites are hysterical like that I don't know if I'd say that was hysterical Haha, <laughs> parasites. Oh. Clearly the island was a humpback whale. Sometimes I think the whales jump out of the water like that because they just suddenly think they're afraid of water. <laughs> Sometimes I think they just hate water. They just want to punch it. They don't have fists to do it. So they gotta use their faces. There you go. Ah, whales. Very majestic. Level humpback. How do you feel about pelicans, Red? Just like in that movie. Even the right kind. Let's ta stop talking about fish napping related movies. <laughs> hey, take it. You better give some of that cormorant. I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. Very bald raven. Yep. They are used for fishing in Asia. Cormorant fishing. Kind of silly, that. It's, funny, kind of a, it's more of a... Funny of a thing about them thing. is they have to dry their wings after they die. It makes it really hard to fly. You don't actually see them fly when it rains, usually. That's why you can see them in Anahingas often just airing themselves out. Yep. Too bad we never see any Anahingas in this game. Or do we? Do Do we? What do you think? <laughs> I, got, I, got, I seriously got all Rodney Dangerfield IRL when you said that. Like, do we? Huh? I, I, and the Hingas get no respect. The answer's no. We don't see any Hingas oh, in this game. fuck! You bastard. But I do. Got excited for Anna Hingas. I know. Ah. Uh, a lot of people can't tell the difference between cormorants and anahingas. Hint, anahingas are the ones with the snake necks. Just like the name says. A lot of people don't know what anahingas are, so you're going to put a picture of one up right now. That's a thing I just did. I gave you work to do. <laughs> Way to go, asshole. You've either got to cut my thing out, or you've got to put the image up. Ha! <laughs> The jar and take this jar. At the jar. Mm, was over here cake rock? I think What's it's dolphin rock. The big rock yeah. looking thing. Oh, that's a bunch of big rock looking things. I think it's the know. big round rock looking thing that would look like a cake from above water. Like, like that one looks kind of cake ish, I guess. I don't, I don't know. No, that's Dolphin Island. That doesn't look like a cake. Does that one look like a cake? Yes! That doesn't look that much like a cake. It's more like a saddle. It be saddle island. That looks like a baobab tree. It does. That's weird. But it's not. Yeah. Alright, so I guess it's over... Not, not there. Pretty sure it, it's that big round thing. I don't think that's the mysterious island. Yes, but I believe it is the cake rock. Yeah, the rock I'm, of I'm cake, sure. if you will. I, I guess. The litho cake. This is the one surrounded by sea lions and whatnot. Oh, it's cake rock. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, there you go. I didn't say it wasn't it. I just said I was... Don't get the name in. 
Donut reefs, cake rocks. Oh, well, what do you know? Alright, we're looking for islands. There's an island. There's an island. There's this island right here. No. Oh. oh, it was behind the island that you can't see through. Oh, dearie me. I'm using my fish sense to see through the island. Oh, all right, I'll go look at Katama's navel. Good luck, then. You gotta do more than just look at it. Well, you have to contemplate it. You have to contemplate the Buddha. So it goes. So I believe that's just over here. I believe this is Katama's navel. That's what you thought about Cake Rock. You ended up surrounded by dolphins. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel, it's a holy mackerel! Also a giant ah. turtle. Cacao Maharaja. Maharaja. Maybe you win the lottery! Yes! Turtle hero! Ah, uh, only in the UK. Or else you're a turtle ninja. Really? Yeah. Also, this is the US version, not the UK version. That was a joke that you just didn't get, so we're good. Oh, I get it. Oh. Uh, I get joke. It took me a moment. Yeah. I got it. Yes, Kaho Maharaja. He's, he's the largest turtle. Yes. The largest leatherback of the largest turtles. He's big. Yep. So I sighted once a year in the atoll. It's very friendly. Eh. Very popular. Well, he's good luck. Very slim chance of seeing him, according to the information. And, you know, it's considered a blessing if you see him. If you see him, maybe luck. dive with him. Maybe he'll tell you some secrets. Throw us to bed on. Who knows? It's not a judgmental turtle. Also, he's friends with our dog. Yeah, somehow. Yes, he is friends with Snorkel. Maybe he deposited Snorkel on that island. I don't know. If so, he should have probably... That just raises more questions. I, I know. Why do you do this to me? I don't know. I'm always... Oh, questions. look. It's a regular boring turtle. Get out of here. Look. Look. All turtles are interesting. Not compared to the one we just saw. Uh, okay, there are degrees of... Out of the way, you. But, eh. Hey, hey, I'm back. I, I saw your family. We're Maybe we'll see a out. solid gold whale coming up. Uh. Then every other whale will be shit to me. That's dumb and stupid. And you're dumb and stupid. I'm one now of those. Now this purple queen is dumb and stupid. But only that one. What do you mean, it's purple queen? Last time you did that, the whale charged you, remember? That was using the, the, the thing that we dropped, probably. I don't know. That was due to dragons. So I believe they said it was somewhere down here, maybe? I don't know. It was down here. I just know. They, you don't know! That's the thing! I don't know. King Angelfish. Called King Fish, they have little crown like patterns on their heads. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Swim down that. I'm gonna do it. Do it. Nothing bad will happen. I'm gonna explore the deep depths. See what I find. First, I'm gonna look at zoom spots. Because the ocean is with me, and then it makes me just a zoom spot baron. Zoom spot baroness. Oh, look, well, well, yeah. We, we are currently inhabiting a zoom spot barony. How about that? Tang, young, young Tang. It's kind of a zoom spot, Demesne. 
the domain of Zoom. All right, no, I think all these Zoom spots are basically the same. Yeah, they're just going to be those damn banner fish. All right, we're going deep. Wish me luck. No. Dive, dive, dive. You can set off an alarm. And then sometimes the game just does segments for us. Yeah, it's great. Oh. So I can just make stupid noises during them. I agree, Whale. Okay, so, wait, what was I, what was I doing? Surfacing. No, no, I was going deep. Deep. That was the opposite of what you said. Oh, Shannon doesn't think this is a good idea. Look, it's a brilliant idea. Aww. Nadine also doesn't Aww. think this is a good idea. Apparently not. Fine, we're going far. It's three against one. I don't think this is a good idea. Eh, eh. That's why. Well, this is as far and deep as we're getting here. Yep. Hmm. Well, we, you know, we we found whales. We found the island. We did a pretty good job, I think. We experienced. Yes. And we proved that my my sci my hypothesis wasn't quite accurate, but we did find the the scientific conclusion that we needed. Turns out just a really cool turtle. What are we supposed we to be healing zero. seals? Uh, seals, yeah, we probably should, but they're fine. They, 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 they will last a little while longer. They're, I don't know if that's true. Look. Uh, I think that's one of the only seals you could say that about. That's not true. But, but, but. Uh, Alright. Oh, well, well. Uh, well, see you folks next time when we go to the Antarctic.